Hi, I'm Laura and I'm a neurophysiotherapist and co-founder of Neuro Heroes. Today we're here with Parkinson's UK to bring you a workout that's going to be mainly done in the chair with some standing options. Joining me I've got Rose and Anna and Rose is going to be showing you how to do some variations in standing while we show you what to do if you need to use the chair. So for the session all you'll need is a chair but a sturdy one, no wheels please and some water to hand. You'll need something to use as weights, so some water bottles or tins from the kitchen are fine. And then we're just going to concentrate on having a good time and making movements really big and powerful as we go through the workout. We ready for action? Let's do it. So we're starting with a warm up. And I want us to go with a big march with straight arms and big hands. Opposite arm for legs. And you're gonna need to be on the edge of your chair for all of this workout. Good, let's really get the elbows straight. Stretch your thumb away from your fingers so you've got big hands through the movement. Lovely, we're gonna keep the marching legs and push out and pull in with our hands now. Great, Rose. Use those big hands. Again, straight elbows. So we've got big, exaggerated movements. Keep it there. Nice. All right, next up, we're gonna tap the heels out in front. Tap one heel out, reach towards it with the hands. Back to the middle. Other side. Back to the middle. Let's again have big straight elbows, big spread out hands. Gonna warm up the whole body in this section, ready for the rest of the workout. Let's do one more each side. Okay, we're gonna step one arm and leg out. Then the other side, arm and leg out to the side. Go as far as you can with this one, but just do whatever works for you. Remember to work at your own pace. And if you need any rest through the workout, remember you can pause the video at any time. Brilliant, we're going into a ladder climb now. So opposite arm to leg, Really reach that one arm in the air as the knee lifts. Stretch up through the body to open up the shoulders. Very nice. Straight arms as we go. Spread the hands. Good work. If you can, speed it up a little bit. So maybe Rose goes a bit faster as we keep it here, Anna. Great really want your heart rate to get up a little bit, ready for the rest of the workout ahead. Okay, let's stop with that, bring the arms down. We're gonna lift one heel, then the other. So alternate those heel rises, getting the calves working a little bit. Good. Keep going there, up to one toe, then the other. And then we'll go into some arms. So last one there. We're gonna have the arms in front of us like this, then open out the chest, wide elbows, back to the middle. So let's keep those hands spread and get the elbows back as far as you can to open up the chest and open up that upper back. You can get a little bit stiff. So let's use all the movement you've got there to Stretch open and get the upper back moving. A few more of these. Very nice, keep it there. Okay, last one before we go back into our march. And swing the arms as we march along with those big hands. Lovely. And that's your warm up done. Well done. Mm.
Next, we're going to be working on coordination. It's really important to challenge yourself practicing two things at once. So we're going to be doing some different movements here and see if we can layer it up, make things a bit harder as we go. Again, you can do it in sitting or standing. So the movement goes like this. A heel tap and in, a heel tap and in. Then a toe tap to the side, toe tap to the side. Okay, are we ready? Front, front, side, side. Brilliant. Keep it going like that. And I just want you to find your own pace and your own rhythm with this. Try and keep going. If you get in a muddle, you just stop and start again. Keep going. Really nice. Lovely, Rose. You okay, Anna? She's got it. <laughs> okay. Keep going like this. And now we're going to add in some facial movements. Important to practice using all those muscles in the face in an exaggerated way. So, can everyone give me a big smile? Yeah! Okay, at home, really exaggerate that huge smile. Great. Next, I want you to give me a surprised face. Raise your eyebrows. Big mouth as well. Like that. Great. Well done. Okay, and then a big frown. Scrunch up your eyebrows. That's the one. Brilliant. Okay. Keep going with those legs. Stop and start again if you need to. Good. Keep it moving. We're going to do one more round of that. Well done. And then everyone stop. Give your legs a rest. Well done. Right, we're going to make it a little bit harder now. So, Anna's going to keep going with just the legs. If this is challenging enough for you, stick with that. Rose and I are going to show arms and legs at the same time. So, using the opposite arm, you're going to come forwards. Opposite arm, come forward. Opposite arm to the side. Opposite arm to the side. So, if you're adding arms, let's do that now. Good. Keep it steady. Concentrate. This is hard. You need to stop. That's fine. It takes a little time to master this sometimes. Keep it moving. Well done. If you're finding this easy, you're going to speed it up a little bit. That's it, Rose. She's <laughs> showing off now. Good. Okay, if you're finding it manageable at home, you're going to start shouting out girls' names. As many as you can think of. Really project your voice and keep talking so that you're doing a thinking task at the same time as your movement task. Keep going. Well done. Keep it going there. We're going to do this for a few more seconds. Brilliant. Really try and exaggerate and do the whole movement. Big arms, straight legs. Last few, everyone. Well done. And let's stop there. Well done keeping that up for such a long time. Brilliant. Next up, we're going to go into our strength segment. So grab your weights, and we're going to do one exercise in standing, if you can, so that we get some weight-bearing work built in as well. We're going straight into our strengthening, starting here. We'll push up with one arm, up with the other arm, then both together. So let's keep going. We'll do 45 seconds of each exercise with a little rest in between. So with these, I want you to think about getting your arms straight and pushing up with power every time. Yes, Rose, brilliant. Get those elbows straight every time. Nice. Keep it going, another 10 seconds. Yes, Anna, lovely opening of the hands there. And push, last one. Okay, we're just gonna swing the arms for a little rest there. 
March defeat, you're in standing, well done. So next exercise is a sit to stand if you're in your chair. Rose is gonna show us a squat if you want to work a little harder. And Anna's going to just do a mini version. So you can either come all the way up to standing. Rose is going to squat by bending the knees. And Anna's just gonna be lifting her bottom a little bit off the chair if that feels more safe and secure for you. Keep this going. Well done. For all of, all of these versions, I want you to get your shoulders forwards. Stick your bottom right out behind you to really work your thighs. Starting to feel it now. And to work your bottom muscles. Brilliant, Rose, looking strong. Last few seconds. And let's go into that little rest. We're marching the feet. Brilliant. Last exercise in this set is a wood chopper. We're going to use one weight for this or no weights. So wide legs in standing or in the chair. And we're going to reach up one way with diagonal arms down towards the opposite knee. Let's do the same movement again, straightening the arms up. We'll go the same way until I tell you to swap. Straight arms as you go up high. Push, lovely rows. Keep it there. And swap sides now. Push up. Twist the body as you go down. Turn the shoulders. Nearly there. Last five seconds. Back into our active rest now. Okay, we're going back to the beginning of the circuit now. So it's those shoulder pushes. Choose if you're going with or without weights. And let's get started. Pushing up with one, up with the other, then both together. We're gonna do this circuit three times in total. If you need a longer rest between sets, just pause the video and start again when you're ready. Really push that arm straight, reach the shoulders every time. Push. Get up there with power, Rose. Yes. <laughs> nice, Anna. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go of this last set. Push. Last one, reach. And into your little active march. Rose is gonna hold on to her weights and do the squats. Anna will do the bottom lift. And I'm gonna go on to the sit to stand. Remember to lean forward with the shoulders. We're ready, let's go. Pushing up and control down if you can. Coming all the way up to a big straight stand, tall and proud. Yes. Really push those legs. Want you to feel like you're working hard in this section. Brilliant. Working those thighs, working those hip muscles. That's it. Come on, everybody. Last 15 seconds. Rose is really working hard. Well done with the weights. Got time for a couple more. Keep it going. Last one, and we're into our little rest with a march. How are you doing, Rose? Okay, it's that wood chopper next. So the one weight, if you're using a weight. Are we ready? Wide legs, up to one side, down to the other knee. Push up with straight arms. Really reach. Do two more on this side. One and two and time to swap. Over we go and down. Yes. Really get those elbows straight. Twist the shoulders on the up and the down. Last one. And rest. Okay, that's set two done. Brilliant work, everybody.
going to do one more round before a longer rest. Doing really great. <laughs> okay, we're going into the shoulder push. Last set, so let's really work it hard this time. You know what you're doing now? Let's push it. Keep up this energy all the way till the end. Nice effort, Rose. Let's add a smile. We're halfway through this one. And push. Keep those arms straight every time. Elbows back. Keep the chest open. Yeah. Nearly there. Three, two, one. And march. Okay, going into our stand, squat or bottom lift. Let's push up, let's go. Forwards and up, sticking the bottom out on the way down. Good, working at your own pace, your own level. But really getting the most out of every exercise, every rep, by straightening the legs if you're standing and squatting all the way up to the top. If you're doing the exercise Anna's doing, get your shoulders right forwards over your knees. Really works the thighs. Last 10 seconds here. Up tall and proud. And stop. Going into that active rest with a mark. Okay, our last exercise of this strength section, the wood chopper. So let's focus on straight arms, up and out. Are we ready? Up, out this way, down towards the knee. Elbows straight, push up, reach down. Turn the shoulders. Keep it there. And swap sides. Push and down. Use the music to help you really move big. Good. Last couple. Okay, and it's active rest. Well done, everybody. That strengthening set is finished. You did it. Great work. Okay, last few seconds of marching. And we'll all stop there, well done. Next up, we're going to be working on fitness. And for this section, we're going to pretend we're going scuba diving. We're going to take you on a little underwater adventure. So copy me with the moves and make them big. First up, we're going to imagine we're getting ready to jump off our boat into that lovely blue ocean. So swing your arms really big. Brilliant. Are you ready to jump? Everybody, arms go up in the air as we jump like this. Good, if you're in the chair, try and lift your feet. Big jumps into the water. Lovely, keep going like that. Big arms and big hands if you can. Good. Okay, we're in. Let's do some kicking like this. Straighten those knees and kick through the water. Imagine you got your flippers on. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Keep going with those front crawl legs. And now we're gonna do some front crawl arms. Let's stop the legs and go with a big reach forwards. Brilliant Rose, you've done this before. Fantastic. Reach those arms out in front. And now we go on our little underwater tour. So, I can see a turtle. Everybody, wide legs, you're gonna be the turtle. Hands together, 
reach up and glide down. Okay, again, reach up and glide. Exaggerate those arms reaching and gliding. That's the one. Push. Brilliant. Glide through that lovely turquoise water. Nice. Couple more of these. Great. Nice. Push up, Rose, and push down. Great. Everyone, next up, there's an octopus. A huge octopus. Keep the legs wide, and we're going to use the arms as the octopus tentacles. You've got it. Keep moving. Brilliant. Get those arms flapping through the water. We got it. That's it, Rose. Turn the body. Turn the shoulders. <coughs> As we go. Lovely. Last one to the other side. And we're going to do some breaststroke arms, folks. So lean it forwards. Big wide arms, then open the chest. That's it. Bit more gliding through the water. That's nice. Push to arms straight. And then chest up. Next up, what can we see? It's a seahorse. So everyone's going to have one foot forwards, like this. Hands together. In the chair, we're just going to do the arms up and down. Rose is going to bob the legs as well. That's it. Okay. Keep it here. Doesn't the music make you feel like you're in the Caribbean? Keep it moving. Imagine the sun beating down on us through the water. Lovely. Stop. We're going to swap legs now. Great, Rose. And we're off again. There's our bobbing seahorse. Lovely. Good. A few more of these. Try and straighten the elbows and make them big movements every time. Who can we see? It's a crab. Everybody, wide legs. Get your pincers ready. We're going to be tapping the toes and pincing the hands. Lovely. <laughs> Let's add a big smile. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful, keep tapping those toes. Really try and open the hands as you tap them together. Nice. Okay, everybody, it's a manta ray next. Feet back to the middle. We're gonna be flapping the arms wide open, back to the middle, wide open, back to the middle. If you want to challenge yourself a bit, go up onto tiptoes if you're in standing. As you open those left arms. Stretch the shoulders wide. Good. Drop the hands a little bit lower if it's tough for you. And we'll show you how. That's it. Really stretch open the chest. Keep the elbows straight if you can. Fantastic, everyone. We're nearly there. Okay. Who can we see? Starfish coming your way. So we're going to go out with one arm and leg, out with the other arm and leg, back to the middle. Make as big a star as you can, back to the middle. Really stretch those elbows, Rose. You've got it. Look out to each arm and hand if you can. Keep those stars big. Lovely. Great, Anna, with your straight legs. Nice. Keep the hands as big as you can as well. Back to the middle. Okay, we've got a few more of these to do. <laughs> Good. Let's do one more whole starfish. Back to the middle, it's back to breaststroke arms. Reach and up. Lovely on the main bit of our tour now. We saw a lot. Well done. You really stretch those arms wide. And we've got to go back up to the surface now. So we're going to use both arms to reach up, stretch, and down. 
reach up. Let's look up at the hands if you can as well. Good. Going back up to the top. Back up to the boat. Nearly there. We're going to do three more of these. Three, two, one, and stop. Brilliant effort, everybody. Well done. Well done, everyone. You've worked really hard. You deserve to have a nice stretch and a cool down. So we're going to do some stretches. If you're in the chair, come forwards to the edge of your chair. First one, we're going to stretch one leg out straight and bring the toes up towards you. Reach towards the toes to stretch behind the thigh, behind the calf. Rose will show you what to do in standing. Just hold it there. We're going to keep the same position for about 30 seconds. Well done. Pulling the toes up towards you gives a bigger stretch there, a deeper stretch into the calf. Okay, let's bend that leg, straighten the other side, and reach towards the toes. Try and keep your chest up to add to the stretch as well. That's a good position, Rose. Hold it there, keeping the chest and head forwards. Great. Okay, coming back to sitting. To stretch the thighs, Rose will show you how to get your um, foot up behind you in standing. We're going to come to the edge of our chair and drop one knee down towards the floor. Push that knee backwards and sit up tall to feel the stretch on the front of your thigh and the front of your hip. Again, just hold it there. Do hold on to something if you need to in standing. Rose is doing really well there with her stretch and balance. Holding it still, that's great. If you can't feel it, try and move that knee and foot a little bit further back. Okay, bring that foot to the middle. If you're in your chair, move to the other side in standing. Other leg now. So drop the knee, push it back, and sit up tall. These thighs have worked hard for you today, so let's give them a well-deserved stretch. Chest up, shoulders back. Hold it there. <laughs> Just get back to the position. If you wobble, doesn't matter. Just find that stretch again. Great, trying to push your hips forwards, Rose. Do you feel the stretch on the thigh? Oh, come, coming back to the middle. Let's clasp the hands together now. You're gonna raise your hands up overhead and down again. We'll do this a few times to open up the shoulders and the upper back. That area can get quite stiff sometimes. We need to work into the range you've got and try and open up that upper spine. Try and take the hands a bit further overhead and straighten the arms if you can. Very nice, last one. Up, hold it. Good, hold it there. And down we come. Right, we're gonna do a rotation now. So in sitting, you can use your hand on your opposite knee if you'd like to. We're going to take one straight arm round behind us, follow it and look behind you with your head so your neck is turning too. Back round to the middle, let's go the other way. Use that hand on the knee if you need to. Big open, wide to stretch the chest and turn the body. Back to the middle. Let's do one more stretch each side, straighten that arm and turn the shoulders turning your body and your head and then back to the middle round to the other side outstretched arm outstretched hand twisting the trunk the shoulders and the neck okay this time I want both hands to open out as you really stretch open the chest and then come to the middle and give yourself a big hug slouch into it to stretch behind the shoulders and then open out again and give yourself that hug. Sometimes it's nice to just give yourself a hug. Well deserved. Let's do one more. Open out. And we'll slump down. Come to the middle and lastly I want you to roll your shoulders back. On this last roll I want you to stop on the back and down so you've got a nice wide open chest and open shoulders. 
That's the end of your workout. You've done brilliantly. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Rose, for your help. And Anna, it's been really great to do this workout with you and Parkinson's UK today. You've done some brilliant effort towards your 2.5 hours a week of physical activity. If you want any more information on that, head to the Parkinson's UK website and hopefully we'll see you for another workout soon. <laughs>